good morning we are in the car today because i just parked at Privé hair salon you can't see it because it's around the corner over here um, but i'm getting my hair done today finally i'm getting this fixed whatever this is going on right now so i thought that i would share this with you guys i'm a little bit nervous i have to say i haven't been here in a while i normally go to aveda salon and dr phillips if any of you are from the orlando area um you might be familiar with that but i wanted to try something different so yeah i'm trying something different the person that i was supposed to see ended up leaving last minute so i'm seeing someone else i don't even know the person i don't even know their name so <laughs> i'm kind of nervous but let's do this i think it'll be okay i need to definitely get it trimmed i hopefully can get it a little closer to my natural color and try to cover up some of these highlights i just want it to look more natural and be a lot easier for me to take care of um sorry if that my hand is kind of shaky i forgot my tripod and i'm in my car and i would never film in my car and so i don't really have a place to put you <laughs> so i'm just holding you right now but okay let's go in All right, I'm back in the car. It's a little bit dark in here, so hopefully you can see it's a kind of a cloudy day, but I love, love, love how it turned out. So what she did was a base, and then I got low lights instead of highlights, just to kind of tone it down a little bit and start to blend it, and we're focusing on health first. I got an SOS treatment, so I think it was I don't know what kind of product. I think it was Kirastas something another that they used. Um, but Leanne is the one that did the color and then Brianna did the cut and I just got a little bit trimmed. But I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. I was very nervous, but it feels amazing. It feels much healthier. I just got a little bit trimmed. I will say that I don't use as small of a curling iron as this. So my curls are a little smaller. I'm not really used to this, but I'm very, very happy with the color. I love how it blends now. I'll show you better once I'm able to film a little bit when I'm not sitting in a parking lot. Hello, okay, it's a little bit later and I wanted to show you what I'm wearing. I'm about to, <laughs> we're getting ready to go to Disney Springs to go to Wine Bar George for Matt's birthday. That's where he decided to go for his birthday. Um, it's one of our favorite places. If you've watched any of our vlogs, then you would have seen it before. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I was trying to rush. Um, I wanted to show you what I'm wearing though. I feel like I am a little bit overdressed, but that's okay. It's Matt's birthday and it's a little bit chilly today. It's 60 degrees. It was 40 something when we woke up, which for Florida is cold. And um, yeah, so this is, I'll show you here in the mirror so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so it's a shirt dress. It's a black shirt dress from J. Crew, but it's long sleeves. I just have the sleeves pulled up, but I love it because it has pockets. It's kind of an oversized fit. I'll link it down below. I do believe that they have a couple of other prints available. It's not just in black, but I like black because you can dress it up or down. You could wear this with white sneakers and um, dress it down, but I'm wearing my Sarah Flint. Of course I had to wear these. I wanted to, I don't know, I just wanted to dress up a little bit for Matt's birthday and then I just have my sweater blazer here from J. Crew that I'm gonna drape around my shoulders if I get too cold. He's being a little bit clingy because he knows we're about to leave. It's all right, bud. We'll be back. We'll be back. He's like, you lie. Don't wanna forget my phone. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to be late. We have reservations in. Hopefully we're not late. I want to bring a hair clip because I did restyle my hair. Um, I kind of just dampened it a little bit and tried to blow it out a little and then curl it with my curling iron, but I still feel like it's a little too curled, but I'm still so happy with the color. You can get a better idea here in the sunlight. I don't know if you can see but I'm so glad that she darkened it up at the top, especially. Just looks so much better. It's birthday boy. You weren't expecting me to say <laughs> No, that. I wasn't. I was like, what? <laughs> Did you know I had the camera? No, out? I didn't. <laughs> um, happy birthday, Matt. Thank you. Uh, we talked about it in the last vlog that yeah. Matt is now 41. Woo. Yeah. Sounds a lot when you say it out loud. I think it's exciting. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, so Matt decided we're going to Wine Bar George. Yes. One of our favorite spots. Uh, and you also requested that we do nothing. So <laughs> this evening, we're doing absolutely nothing other than a Wine Bar George visit. Yeah, we're very specific with our birthday requests. Yeah. I just oh. don't want to do anything right now. I know what we can do. We can watch Ted Lasso. Oh, yes. we need to yes. watch the new season. The new season started. Do you guys oh, watch man. Ted Lasso? It's so cute. 
gosh, I love it. Um, I also wanted to say some very exciting news, Matt. Yes. For your birthday, guess what? 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 I got my YouTube partnership back. Hey! Really? Thanks Today? To you, yeah, thanks to you guys well, for watching my videos. That's I great. got the, um, you know, how they put ads before your videos or in your videos. Thanks to you guys for watching my videos. I reached the, you have to meet a specific number of hours watched and subscribers. Um, and yeah, they just told me this morning. So I'm very happy. I have to, I have to admit though, I, I really have to say this. Um, I think it's a misconception that YouTubers make so much money. I've never really made a lot of money from my AdSense. You can ask Matt, my, this channel, I've never made a lot of money from AdSense alone. The way that I can keep making videos is when you guys shop through my reward style or what's called LTK now of affiliate links that I link in the description box. That's basically how I can keep this channel going. It's not through AdSense. So thank you so much for supporting me in that way because if you didn't do that, then I couldn't do this, which I love. So yeah, I'm just, I'm so grateful that you guys watch my videos enough to be able to bring me back. I had had my, what am I saying? Whoa. <laughs> I had had my YouTube partnership since October 10th, I think 2010. And yeah, and so I didn't even know that I had been taken away. They didn't email me or anything like that. They didn't give me a warning. It just, when I uploaded the spring uh, try on haul, I went to go into the monetization tab to take out some of the, they put a lot of ads just, um, what is it when they just do it for you? Like, Randomly? Well, they it's like a pre-select thing that YouTube does. So oh, yeah. sometimes I have to go and double check and make sure they're not putting one every five seconds. Um, and when I did that, I noticed there wasn't even a monetization tab anymore. And I was like, oh my God, I'm not a YouTube partner yeah, anymore. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of funny, but also, I mean, I was like, whoa, they could have at least given me a warning considering I had had it since 2010, yeah. y'all. Like that was before YouTube was even a thing. I didn't, I had no idea what I was doing in 2010. I just, oh, wanted to share a Minnie Mouse Halloween tutorial. I remember that. Yep, I worked at Blue Mercury and we I had just stopped working at Disney. Um, we were living in Charleston. We had moved from Orlando to Charleston. And yeah, that is such a funny thing um, to think about that. Wow, <laughs> but anyways, sorry that I'm rambling a bit here, but um, now we're going to Wine Bar George to celebrate Matt and yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. It is such a gorgeous day. Even though it's a little chilly, it actually feels so nice. And it's like actual spring it is, for a day. Let me see. According to the car, it is 24 degrees cooler today than it was on your birthday. Wow. And my birthday is January 30th. Yeah. So if that tells you anything about how the weather has been, right. we are grateful for this cool cold front that just came yeah. through. I mean, it feels like spring still, even though it's cooler, but yeah, it's why amazing. Is this car just, a, oh, maybe there's a bird crossing. Could be. Yeah, sometimes if you see just a random car stopped in the middle of the road and you're like, you can't see why, it's either turtles or birds. Or the Florida, what are they called? Sandhill cranes? I, I think. Know. I don't know. They're, they're tall, they have like a red bill or red oh, head. Oh yeah, I don't know. those cross. The everywhere. road everywhere. Yeah. yeah, but people do stop, which yeah. I appreciate because I don't think they're endangered. So. I hope people stop. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine if you didn't. Yeah, those are big birds. I don't yeah. know if I want to run into one like that. Cool, and they're cute. <laughs> There's always two. They're in twos. Always. Yeah, they're always in twos or more. Yeah. went to Sephora at Disney Springs and I wanted to show you what we got. I got the Dior Addict uh, number 745 Red Volution. The D's in parentheses, but I have it on right now. It's really pretty red. I wanted to get something red, balmy, sheer. It's easy just to put on and I love these. These are really nice. And then 
at the checkout line, which they always get you with that, don't they? Yes, they do. With all the little trial size. I got the Kirastas Elixir Ultimate, Ultimate? I don't know. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is what they used in my hair when I got it done. So I was like, oh, perfect, I can try it. Because they were trying to give me the full size yesterday. But um, this was $24, so this will last for a long time. Because you only need a little bit, but it smells so, so, so good. And then Matt got his sumo clay from Bumble and Bumble. Which is your go-to. It's my go-to for years. Yep, little mini Sephora haul. Look what he wants. You want your puzzle? Okay. <laughs> you want your puzzle? Okay, ready? All right, stay. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> We already got him another one too. It has a piece that goes on top, but he loves these things. Good morning. I have my morning smoothie here. So in this I have some avocado, blueberries, cherries, ginger, collard greens. It looks disgusting, it looks like swamp water, but I promise it's good and I only have just a little bit left. Um, but I like to have a smoothie every morning and I'm gonna talk about why there's a duck sticking out of this box in just a second. Um, but last night after we went to Wine Bar George, Matt just wanted to have a relaxing night and so we decided to watch the first episode of the latest season of Ted Lasso. If any of you have seen it, let me know in the comments. It was so good. I'm not gonna tell you anything about it because I don't want to give any spoilers, but um, I just love that show so much. I love how they talk about mental health issues and I just think that all of the characters are so cute. It was a lot of fun. We had a really nice time at Wine Bar George too. The food there is always amazing. So if you ever come to visit Disney World and have an opportunity to go to Disney Springs, Wine Bar George is the perfect spot for just a relaxing meal. It's more romantic and kind of like a date night spot than a place where you would bring your whole family, but you can bring your family. In fact, when my sister came here, we sat at the bar and they had um, Nusa, which was, she was a baby back then. I think she was still in a stroller maybe, but we put her at the bar and George, the owner of it, he actually came up to us and said, this is exactly what I envisioned when I opened this place. I wanted it to be for the family. So it's not just for couples or a date night spot. Um, it is it is family friendly as well, but it was so much fun. But yeah, I'm sitting down right now because I'm trying to figure out, I just got, I just ordered um, trim to go around the wallpaper panels that I showed you in, uh, I think it was my, or it was my uh, couple vlogs ago, but it's the chinoiserie. I'm putting those panels here on the wall and I'm removing this desk and I wanna put a dresser here. So I just ordered this gold trim that I found on Amazon. I'll put a picture here for you guys, but it's a um, adhesive. So I thought, because I want to try to keep it budget friendly but also apartment friendly because we're not this is a temporary place where we're living I wanted to do something that was easy to take on and off so this is a, an adhesive trim so I thought maybe I could put a foam core board if I can cut it out I don't know how I'm gonna do this but we're gonna try to figure it out hopefully in the next vlog it'll be here so I could try it um, and show you guys but I've seen a few DIYs on Pinterest. Basically, you can take a foam core board and stick the wallpaper, because it's a um, peel and stick wallpaper that I got, and then put the trim around it, kind of like a frame. I don't know if it's gonna work or if it'll look right. The trim should be here from Amazon within the next few days, I think. Um, so we'll see how that goes. It'll probably be in the next vlog. But I'm looking at this Caitlin Wilson website. If you don't know who Caitlin Wilson is, she has a beautiful, um, brand where she sells different uh, home decor. She's an interior designer and a, um, just a designer. She has an amazing Instagram, highly recommend following her. But I've been looking at her paint. So she did a collaboration. What is this a collaboration with? With Jolie. And the paint colors are beautiful for what I want to do is my dream dresser is the grass cloth um, from Serena and Lily. I'll put a picture here. That is not in my budget and I don't want to carry that into the apartment down the hall. It'll get banked up. I just don't want to have to move it. I want to wait and get something like that once we move into our home home. Um, so right now I want to try and DIY and I actually found, what is this guy's name? Hold on, I'm going to get it right. 
um, Lone Fox on YouTube. He has, a, I'll put a picture here, he has a DIY of how to turn the Ikea, an Ikea dresser into basically what that Serena Lily, like in, inspired by that. But I've been looking at this paint. So there's one called Antique Rose that I think would go really well with the wallpaper that I have. There's also kind of a sagey green, what's it called, soft sage, that I think would be pretty. And then there's another one called Chateau. What do you think? Also, I'm trying to decide between, with the Shinross 3 panels, so there's gonna be three on the wall, I want either this DIY dresser or I'm just gonna take the, they have inlays that you can buy and just stick them on the dresser on Etsy. It's kind of like just an easy DIY. This one will be a little bit easier to do just because you can buy it all in one time. So I'm trying to decide between, do I want the one with the raffia fabric because that'll add a bit more, I don't know, kind of coastal and a little more, um, I don't know, I kind of am leaning more towards the raffia one and I like the way it's not too over the top and feminine, but it's gonna be a little more work, but I think I can customize it. And then if I don't wanna use it in this room, I could also take it out because I feel like it would go with other things. But yeah, that's where we are there. I did make that order on Amazon and I'm very excited for those to get in so that I can start to build the panels. Um, I also last night worked on a daily looks section on my blog because I, as much as I love the LTK app, I feel like I want a place where my daily outfits can live that you can just go to and it's on a platform that I own and have control over because things have changed drastically um, just since I've been with Reward Style like I think I started with them in 2017 I want to say and the whole thing like they didn't even have the app uh, well they did but it was a little different um, but the way that things are, are they just keep changing and like you know with every social media platform things change so I just want to be prepared and have something that I own which by the way if any of you are thinking about starting a blog or a social media or a account or Instagram YouTube TikTok whatever it is make sure that you have a space that you own because things are constantly changing like for me personally I haven't grown on this YouTube channel like my subscribers haven't grown since 2019 beginning of 2019 every single month for me is negative which it's fine because I I this is just something that I love to do. Um, but if you are planning to make a business out of something like a social media account, just always have a backup plan, always have something that you own. I wish that I would have been told that years and years ago. I kind of, when I was originally creating my blog, I started it in Charleston. I drug my feet a little bit and then I went to the Institute, Institute for Integrative Nutrition and then they kind of told you to create your website in a different way. So my blog kind of got put in the back um, like just in the back of my mind I wasn't working on that as much as I wanted to and uh, yeah so just try not to listen to I'm sorry this is kind of preachy I'm not gonna be preachy like this but you'll hear a lot of people say a lot of things and advise you in certain ways but always trust your gut and make sure that you own your content that's what I'm gonna say um, but yeah, that's what I was working on is a daily look section. I'll link it down below if you want to see it. Oh, I wanted to show you what's in this box. So I'm getting ready to send my niece and now nephew. He's not here yet. He'll be here next month. Ugh, I can't wait. Um, but I'm sending my niece her Easter gift. So last year, Matt and I started to give her a different character from Peter Rabbit for Easter. So this year, look how cute. We have Jemima Puddle Duck. And we're sending her this with the tail of Jemima Puddle Duck. So it's a little book. And then I am also sending my nephew. I was at the Banana Republic outlet store and I saw these little shoes. Look at that. Why is my camera focusing all the way on that light? That was so weird. Okay, there we go. Look at how adorable they are. So, so tiny. So I'm putting those in there. I gotta go get a card. That's what I gotta do today. And I got this too. It's a little linen onesie. Now this probably won't fit him for a while, but I just thought it was too cute to pass up. This is the smallest size that they had. So those are both going in the box. And then I gotta go to the store today and get a card for her, um, like an Easter card. I just got back from the store and I wanted to show you what I found. I found this Easter card. And inside is little paper dolls. So Nusa can play with these. 
and cut out this little bunny here and dress her in these different dresses. And look at this little hat and sunglasses and a little flower crown. So cute. And then I had to get her, this is the gift bag that I got to put everything in, but I had to get these because I thought that they were so cute too. And then look at this. So this is one of those birds that you place in your, oh my gosh, am I going to be able to do this one handed? So it chirps. When you put it in your hand, you just cover these two little um, holes here on the bottom. But my sister and I had one of these when we were little. So I thought, why not get one for Noosa? And that way it'll drive my sister nuts too. But I just wanted to share this with you guys because I thought it was really cute. And now I'm going to pack everything up and ship it to California. Okay, I guess that that is everything for today and for this week's vlog. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you for supporting my channel, helping me get back my YouTube partnership. It means so much to me. And um, yeah, that, the fact that so many of you are saying that you've been here for so long watching my videos and supporting me through so many different chapters of my life. I just appreciate it so much. I'm so grateful to you all. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you soon. Bye.